Good morning to all of you. Uh, first of all, let me thank Murthy Garu for inviting me. I am very honored and privileged to uh, stand in front of great Abdul Kalam Ji Garu. Is a, though he is not here uh, physically, but uh, all of you know he loves our country so much. He did so much to our country. He is a symbol of humility, humanity, and a great wisdom. And, uh, and uh, you all of you know very well how he is a missile man, how he changed the entire the war system of India. Uh, I also uh, express my namaskar to all my uh, co-panelists. Today, uh, really I am very, very happy to share the ideas with all of you. Why? Because uh, before I start, I have to salute uh, Murti Garu for doing wonderful things to uh, medical fraternity. Uh, frankly, I am not fully aware of what he is doing, though he has been coming and meet me more often for uh, free camps and other help. But he has been inviting, but uh, almost many times I ignored. But uh, I am helping indirectly. But uh, the way you are doing really commendable. Uh, we appreciate you very much. I extend wholeheartedly in the future, whatever you want, uh, whatever possible with me, uh, whatever feasible with me, definitely I will extend wholeheartedly. I know the, you are all very young. Uh, you are chosen a very tough path. The medicine definitely, uh, all of you go through a lot of hardships, humility, and appreciation also. This is the only one profession, I think, after uh, like a, when you go to temple many times, uh, after Ashurvachan, they touch the feet. But even the hospitals also, when you are too good, even if it is uh, like a very prominent person, they touch the feet of the doctor many times. Uh, believe me, uh, I think, uh, uh, fortunately, I treated a better year Swami where we operated on, so even Shankara Acharya, we uh, treated them. And, uh, my practice is almost for the past 30 years in the cardiology. So almost uh, I might have done more than 50,000 angiograms, more than 20,000 angioplasties. But uh, you know the cardiology is always challenging, very tough times. Uh, suddenly in the night patient comes in an emergency situation. Uh, he may look like a normal, but in few minutes, in few seconds, picture will change when your patient is on the cat lab, he may look fine, but in few seconds, he may not be responding. The, this type of situation, many times attendants, they are difficult to digest. They can understand their agony because they are their dear one. And because they precious one, somebody's wife, somebody's mother, somebody's father. It, for them, it's 100% loss. For us, one in lakhs. But we have to understand them. You know, there is a the name will be there. That then definitely you go through a lot of humility, a lot of tension, torture while dealing these patients. But uh, many times, this may be once in a blue moon, but many times your patients are recovering very well and there is a lot of applause, appreciation. And uh, sometimes uh, you with the family members follow decades together. Uh, actually, uh, I've seen, uh, like, a, uh, I treated their father. In one one family, I treated 10, 15 patients, even doctors' families. And uh, that's how the attachment will be there. One of my close friends, actually, leading gynecologist from Ali. So in his family, I saved almost 15 patients, even for simple tablets. <laughs> they don't believe uh, his brother. He always complains for any, even for simple headache, you ask the doctor why. Why you are not uh, depending on me? That means it's trust. That they don't have a negative feeling on that one, but sometimes sentiment works. If, if you are too good to any person, definitely, this is only a uh, simple equation. Like if you are good to someone, they will be good to you. If you are not, it's a, like a mirror. Nature is like a mirror. What you see, uh, see if you are uh, uh, seeing goodness in others, they will see goodness in you. That is only simple formula. Be good. Be kind enough. Always, my policy always is suppose if you are extending too much charity, tomorrow you will not be there to serve the people. So you have to balance the situation. Charge reasonably rich patients. Don't, don't charge exorbitantly, 
whatever reasonable, because the modern medicine is very costly aside. Suppose if I am doing power, doing power itself 20 lakhs. By the time the simple physician will do 28 lakhs. I can't offer that uh, uh, device free of cost is 20 lakhs. Similarly, charge reasonably a rich patient, but uh, try to help the poor and needy. That's very important motto. So sometimes, many times, uh, even if he's poor, you may not get from that patient. Believe me, he also has a family contact. So he brings a lot of patients to you. Indirectly, you never know. Even if you help them, even if you are doing free of cost, you never do. You will gain only good relationship, good contact. That matters in the life. So always a bit, be a good human, maintain good relation, and always find backup. The only uh, good person is there are many good human beings in the society. But you are a man with a lot of scientific background. So when you extend the service, you should have a consensus updating of the knowledge. Knowledge is very important. So whatever you extend and update the knowledge, that is very important. So update and invite the concept, these are all very important. Not only good human, be good PR. So all, now what is, uh, many times I teach, uh, almost I might have trained more than 25 DM cardinals. And now I am a head for almost 14 cardinals and uh, 3 cardiac surgeons. Many times when we teach them, we tell them, so always uh, whenever a patient comes, all, uh, you write the concept, you develop the concept first. So nowadays because uh, COVID era, uh, one day damage the medical profession also. In that way means they lost contact, physical contact, emotional contact with the patients. Uh, I think it's a practice of everyone. Whenever the patient comes, send for ECG, send for echo, send for, and they don't touch, stay away, and the people are forgetting the stethoscope also. And only writing the drugs and sending. But uh, emotional contact is very important, and they need a lot of assurance. If you see, almost 80% of the patients, they don't require very advanced technology. They need only assurance, a simple medication. Even if you take the WHO statics, among the non-communicable disease, number one killer is hypertension. And if you see the three major important uh, non-communicable disease which are contributing to mort major mortality and morbidity in the entire world, blood pressure, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, obesity. If you control these things, frankly, any general practitioner can do. Even a good teacher, if I educate, he can practice that one. Because controlling the blood pressure, maintain the number, it's like a numerology. If you have a good number, your lifespan is better, your toxin is better. Similarly, good blood pressure number, good cholesterol number, good diabetic number, definitely you live along with a quality. When you live, you should have a quality. I always tell the uh, doctors, uh, maintain physical exercise. Because your job is not only mental. It's like a WHO definition of health. Not only mental, not only physical and social. All three are. So you have to be a very good PR. Just to spread your name. In good relationship. Second thing is mental. Always do good tasks. Good tasks are very important. And exercise is very important. So night is suppose a surgeon is there. Night, if you are calling for surgery, sometimes you don't know. It may be one hour surgery, you may have to stand for three to four, three to four hours. In my earlier days, I used to stand at, uh, in those days uh, uh, when we are doing the primary angioplasty. Now the technology is very well advanced. Now in those, we were giving a pro injection. We were waiting in the cat lab, seeing the coronary flow is established or not. Night, 10 o'clock until 3 o'clock until 2 o'clock, whether terminal flow is established or not. We were struggling those days. Believe me, many times I went to Padama Temple and did the production as in the early morning for the healing of that patient. So it makes wonders. They always believe God. See, medicine is one a thing, chemical agent. There are many unknown things in the life. So nature, so whether you call God, whether universal uh, energy or universal Whatever it may be. But there is something hidden, unknown. So always believe that. Suppose the patient you are giving atropine, adrenaline, sometimes patient responds to as long as he's alive. 
So when the cardiac massage we are doing after that the cardiac arrest takes place, same drug will not act. Why? Because soul is not there. So we don't know the answer to that one. But the reason, put your best, as Deepa also said, put your best. And the effort may be to the top. And be sincere in your effort. Definitely that makes wonders. So with this brief note, I wish you all the best and uh, I uh, request all the doctors to invite the best of the best things into your practice. Be good human to everyone and spread a good message to everyone and try to help the needy and poor and uh, reasonably charge. If you don't charge, you will not be right. If you are not wealthy, you, no, no one will give a respect. So both things should be there. So, one of my corporate guru, I don't want to mention his name, they say the success is uh, uh, measured with the barometer of the wealth. They say it parallelly. If you are uh, very successful, uh, your uh, barometer will go up. They are not very, even if suppose the olden days, the tradition is different. The lot of rich values, cultures. So when you see your grandmother's smile, nothing more closer than that one. So, but now, even uh, sometimes family members, they are looking at you, whether are you wealthy or not. <laughs> if you are not making money, and they will say, this fellow is unfit, he is not uh, capable. So, but uh, I think uh, we have to draw a line. Many people say many things, but uh, down the line, you are a doctor. God gave you a great opportunity to serve the society. I, uh, again, I emphasize, charge reasonably rich patients and try to help the poor and needy, and like to extend the cost of it, still you can make a wonder, still you will be successful. When wealth is there, because uh, only the patient is the ultimate. Uh, Gandhiji said, the customer is the God. Similarly, even, uh, even our patient is the God, because he is giving a wealth to you, he is giving a car to drive, he is giving a nice wife to lead your home, is living a society to have a very good reputation. So, so many things uh, the patient is extending because he's a guard, we have to serve them with all utterly. Thank you, one and all.